Zack Snyder's Justice League. How different is it from the original? Is it as good as they say it is? And is it going to keep your attention for four hours? Short answer, hell yeah. Thanks for clicking on this video. I'm Kevin and I love talking about everything and all things movie and TV related. Movie news, movie reviews, and everything in between. If that sounds like a good time to you, go ahead and hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. And before I get this review started, I'm going to need you to punch a movie ticket by smacking that like button right down there. Now, Zack Snyder's Justice League. This is one that I have been dying to see. I finally got to sit down and watch it. Not going to lie, took me two days to do it. Um, not because I wasn't completely engulfed in the movie, but I have little kids running around. I like to keep my focus on the movie. So when they interrupt, I got to pause it and get back to it. So four hours long, that is right. This movie is four hours long, but I guarantee you it will keep your attention and on the edge of your seat the entire time. This is night and day difference from the one we got before, the 2017. I'm not even gonna acknowledge that that one exists now. Truth be told, I kind of stood up for that movie it was good, wasn't great. Um, I did enjoy it, but now that I've seen this, I will probably never watch that movie again. I will never watch the other one. It is dead to me. The Justice League Zack Snyder cut is the one we should have got back then. Um, and now seeing it, I understand why the hype, I understand why the, the everybody petitioned to see this. Every single scene from the original was either tweaked or completely changed. Um, there is far more detail in the Snyder Cut than the original. Each individual superhero and character has a more detailed story. Each story is told so much better. And this isn't exactly the Christmas edition Justice League that we got before either. This one's a little darker. This one has definitely a bit of a more adult language barrier. And uh, the fact that normally you would see a superhero beat up the bad guy and tie him up in the corner for the police to pick up, that's not how this one works. All right, this, we don't have time to wait for the police to come arrest these people. The superheroes take care of it themselves. And I'm not going to say exactly how or what I'm talking about if you haven't seen it. I don't want to spoil it for you, but this isn't the, the TV dumbed down version. This is a little darker, a little more adult oriented. Uh, I'm not saying that the kids can't watch it by any stretch of the imagination, but you'll see things in the fight scenes and aftermath, should we say, that definitely was not in the original. Um, so that I really enjoyed that. It gives you more of a realistic feel of like if superheroes existed, how would they deal with a scenario like this? Now, one of the characters that were definitely um, put front and center in this one was Cyborg. Now, his character almost felt like an afterthought in the original. And this one, you go a lot deeper into his story. Uh, where he was, how he got to where he is, how he become cyborg, um, his emotional traumas, things that he's dealing with. And they really put him as like the main character. He has the, one of the biggest roles in this movie of anyone else. So I like that they really did that with this character because there was a lot of questions unanswered in the other one. So now that they've opened that we'll say Pandora's box, no pun intended with the other three mother boxes, you know what I mean. Um, this really does explain a lot. It fills in the gaps of the original. And it does the same with Batman. Now we originally saw him just gathering up the superheroes, forming the Justice League, getting the mother boxes back from Stephen Wolf and saving the world. But there wasn't a whole lot of detail in Batman's agenda or why he's doing this, but I mean, we know that he felt a level of guilt with, you know, the way Superman died. Um, but this really dives into his feelings, the way he's thinking about things now, what brought him to this point in time. 
And it's really, you can see a whole different side of Batman. And the elaborated stories goes literally for everybody else. We find out more about uh, Princess Diana, her background, her mother, the Amazonians. Uh, you also find out more about Aquaman and what's going on with him prior to joining the Justice League. Superman definitely has a little bit more, uh, we'll say, darkness that he has to sort through and other emotions that he has to deal with, especially with Batman. But of course, the major change of this movie is the introduction of Darkseid. So we see that he is kind of the ringleader behind Steppenwolf and ordering him around like a little puppet for reasons, again, I won't spoil for you if you haven't seen it, but there is a chain of command that we see in this film that, again, I keep repeating the same thing, wasn't in the original. Now again, this movie is four hours long, so you are gonna have to snuggle in for a bit, grab that popcorn, a very large thing of soda, um, but the good thing about it is it's broken up into eight parts, and it will end in, say, part two, or part three, or part four, and each part will have a different title. So that way, if this does seem to get too long, or you're distracted by your kids like I was, you can always stop it at the end of, say, part three. We'll pick that one up there in the beginning of part four or later or tomorrow or whatever. So it does have start and stop points, uh, which I felt extremely useful. Do yourself a favor. Go watch Zack Snyder's Justice League. You will not regret it. People who have seen it have raved about this movie and how incredibly epic it is. And I got to join the bandwagon. I got to jump on that bandwagon. It is an epic movie. Absolutely love it. Five stars for me. Is there a 10 star rating? I'm going to give it a 10 star rating. 10, 2. Yeah. So on that note, I'm going to leave you to go watch it. Go do it right now. Please don't hesitate to wait. Make sure you hit that like button and that subscribe button on your way out. And I'll catch you at the concession stands.